so hello everyone and welcome back to another video so today i am doing a video that is completely different to any one that i've done before and you no know, i just because i really need to get it done so i thought that i may as well do a vlog about it at the same time so basically i am just sorting out all my reusable nappies as you can see i have many of them in this one and i have all the things in here as well and i've just got um some in the washing machine i've got some in the tumble dryer as well so i just thought this would be a really good opportunity to sit here talk about the nappies talk about why i use them why i think they're better and all that kind of thing so first things first i'm just basically making the nappies up like this and if i could just move that a bit more down it's a bit of a pain in the bum this is basically i'm just getting the nappy like that putting a liner on and then i'm putting a fleece on it and I know a lot of people say that you shouldn't, but I actually do just, I do this as well, just to make it easier. So, that's one done. And then when I, when we need to get a nappy, we can just grab it. We know that it's already made up. We don't have to uh, faff about trying to find um, like a liner or a thing, whatever. Yeah, so basically, um i have i started using these nappies these reusable ones when kane was about uh six weeks old and we decided to start doing it well i did anyway tony just went along with it because i wanted to do something different um i have so i've got heidi leo Clay, Kaylin, uh, Kane and Winnie. I've got six children in total. And I never did anything like that before with the other four. I used reusables. I didn't really, I never thought about using, um, no, I didn't use reusables. I used disposables. And I, it never ever occurred to me to ever use reusables. I just when i think of reusable nappies i just used to think of like eco mums like hippie kind of like you know what i mean like not in an offensive way but i don't know what i used to think but i no i never used to sort of like i never even entered or crossed my mind to even think about doing that but i started to become a little bit more like eco mum like saving food waste with the oleos the too good to goes and i even gave gave it a go as well with the old breastfeeding and but that didn't go like only lasted like i think 24 hours with that but that's another story anyway so i decided to give this these reusable nappies a go um and i got on well with it basically and just trying to find another nappy and i really liked them um i liked the fact that they were like you know for me i felt like it was better for the cane i felt like you know because all, all the chemicals and everything that you get in the nappies and all that kind of thing with these, you do tend to have to change them a bit more often, but I don't mind that. And it's like with the, I've had lots of people say to me, um, well, I've had a couple of people say to me, oh, it's unhygienic, um, like about the poo and all that, um, the poo in the nappies and, but it's, it's not unhygienic because when, when the when the baby's on the poop, like when the babies are are little, their their poos are quite water soluble. So you can you can basically just put the whole entire nappy into the washing machine, um, 
and then you like put it on a rinse cycle and then you then you like so you, you get out well you get out most of the poo by basically when they've done a poo and say like I've got one of these little fabric absorbent things on and they've done a poo and all the poo is on here and everything you just take the, this bit off and then you just put it down the toilet flush it and then you just make sure you wash like most of it comes off and most of it just falls off of that anyway that's fine and then you just put it in like your little storage container or a nappy bin until you're ready to wash them so basically getting back to the beginning of when I started using them um, so we started using them for cane and we really enjoyed it and it was just like second nature really we didn't really yeah we didn't really think like we didn't overthink it we just used to it just came naturally to us and again with the washing and all that as well it just came naturally so we stuck at it and then and then Winnie come along and then we were like, yeah, we're going to do reusable nappies with Winnie as well. But um, I've done it for a little while with, with Winnie as well. But then I just, I thought, oh no, maybe this is a bit too much, having two of them in these nappies. And so when we went on holiday to Cyprus, that's when I said to Tony, I said, oh, well, we can't do the, we can't do, take them nappies with us we're gonna have to take reusables so when we went on holiday we took reusable nappies and I didn't really like them if I'm honest with you they're they're, e they're easier yes but they're when you're used to something you're used to something aren't you so um then when we got back off off holiday we just kind of like didn't go back to using reusables and we've done that now for a, for a little while but now I've got back into the habit now of wanting to use them again purely for the fact that um, I just think they're better for little babies because I noticed Winnie was starting to get quite sore and I know she's teething and I could put it down to that. But at the same time, I'm thinking, is it the nappies, the, the throwaway ones? Now with these ones, you actually have to put the, um, the, the little pad things. I'll just show you quickly. You have to get a couple of these little things like this. And then you've got like a little pocket in there. And then you just shove all these little pad things in here and you can put as many of these pads in as you want to and just give it a little shake for it makes it go and um got one of these I always try to make them up beforehand so that Tony can just like grab one because otherwise he doesn't always put the um the little liner things in so it just makes it easier for him and he's a man and he's not really going to think about things like that is he? let's be honest <laughs> um so what was i saying oh, i've forgotten what i was saying now about the yeah about the poops yeah so you just basically just get a majority of it off of the nappy by just rinsing it basically in the in the water and you flush the toilet and and then all the poop goes away and then um and then you just put them in the washing machine and rinse rinse them all off first put them on a rinse cycle and then you put them on um i put the my ones on because i I've, I've got um a quite new ish um washing machine bought one a few weeks ago actually and it's got a baby setting um baby 
put anything on it and I just put it on that so just makes it easier so yeah I would recommend anyone to try this give it a go oh and also with these some of these as well you have like you get like these so you can like either have one in a nappy or you can have put them together and have two and then what you do with this is you find one of these what they call a wrap so you don't need a wrap for this and this because it already comes it's all in one that's all in one you know that's all in one it comes together that's an all-in-one nappy but these ones are ones that you actually have to clip in to the nappy like this so you have like little buttons here you just do that and you just clip it in and you can also use these um these wraps are also used for nighttime nappies as well because you have daytime nappies and you have nighttime nappies. And the nighttime nappies are designed for the baby or the child to wear them for up to 12 hours. Yeah. And you can put that on your baby at nighttime and, you know, as long as the, the baby or the child doesn't do a poop. In the middle of the night you can basically leave that nappy on all night long and they do are oh, they are very good at containing the, the wheeze so basically this is a nighttime nappy and this is a top spots one and then you just grab one of the if i was putting this on cane i would have two these things because he does tend to wee quite a lot and then you just basically clip it into the little um, little things here and then I would also put a one of these in as well little fleecy things just to give it extra that basically all the weeds goes through that goes onto the actual this part it doesn't really like it soaks through that and this bit more or less stays dry so your baby is not going to feel wet during the night because that little fleecy thing is there to basically like stop your baby from feeling wet basically that's what it is it's really good and then I would like base I would like put <laughs> put a wrap on around it and I what I do is I keep the I keep the um nighttime nappy separate from the daytime one so that we don't get confused what is what so I'll put that one over here for now and yeah it's just great like in the summertime it's brilliant you can like wash all your nappies and you can put them out on the on the line and the recommendation is that you do that you do put them on the line that's the actual recommendation they don't recommend that you put them in the tumble dryer you can put them in the tumble dryer but you need to put them on a cool setting because um, otherwise you'll mess them up a little bit. So, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm just happy that I've, I've reverted back to, back to this because I just find them so much better. And also as well, another reason why I wanted to go back to reusables is because, um, I, I notice that um, with the disposable ones, the bin smells so bad. It's actually horrible, the smell. I was literally, like, I do tend to change my bin anyway in my kitchen. 
every day but i was literally having to change my bin in my kitchen every day it's crazy and it's like the bin outside absolutely stunk there was flies oh it was horrible didn't like it at all and every time i opened the bin i just it's like smelly smelly nappies and even though i was putting the disposable nappies um in the nappy bag it still wasn't smell was still there so that's another reason why i said to um tony and he kept forgetting to put them in nappy bags as well like he would just like change in cane or winnie and then just put in the nappy straight in the bin without a nappy bag so that's another reason why i wanted to uh, start using these ones again and I have so many, I really do. I've already done, this is how many I've done in here talking. I've done all those. And they come in such nice colours as well. Nice patterns, nice designs. And what else can I tell you about them? We also use the... Um, reusable wipes which i would recommend a hundred percent if you're not going to do the reusable nappies try the reusable um wipes because they're amazing they they really are i got mine initially as you can see i've got a little thing here cheeky wipes and this one's a little bit battered and bruised at the moment but they come like that they're just basically like little towel things and you know you just wet it and one even if your baby has the most horrendous poo ever one of these will clean your baby's bum whereas like if you've got like the the ones that you throw away you're having to like, that's my stupid dog there. Yeah, so I've had to turn my tumble dryer off now because it's making a whirring noise and <laughs> Lulu started barking and oh gosh, Winnie will end up waking up. So yeah, disposable um, wipes are just the worst things that ever were invented, really. Because when you're trying to change the baby's bum, you're trying to get it, unless obviously you've taken the, the wipes out prior but if you you're faced with like an uh, a very terrible um poo <laughs> then you're having to like get the you're getting them out and they're all coming out all at once and then they don't one wipe won't clean one like one all in one whereas this will clean all in one and they're just amazing they really are recommend them 100 percent even though we stopped using the the um reusable nappies we carried on using the reusable wipes because that's how much i love them i think they're amazing uh, so what else was i gonna say about using these um yeah when you um in the summertime when you you put them on the line and they only like take probably like an hour to dry in the summertime and then you just then you just like either make them all up you can, you can either make them up it totally depends on your preferences or you could just make them up um as and when you need one but like i said i just prefer to make them up they look more you know just wherever you're storing your nappies um they just look more neater if you do them like that so yeah so i bought mine from i've got most of my nappies i well i bought a bundle brand new when i first started using them because i wanted to have like new but then I since then I've bought like second hand ones and they're totally fine to use you just get them and you wash them 
and Tony doesn't really like these ones and to be honest I'm not a massive fan of these ones either because they have so many buttons on them I'm not a massive fan of these I still never really understood really how to use these but I still use them <laughs> I'll use them anyway um yeah so you can buy them off um lots of like like Facebook groups or you can get them free from your local council and they do or from your health visitor and actually it was quite um quite good actually because um when we were using these reusable nappies my health visitor was like really like people just I don't know people just look at you in a different way when you're using reusable nappies I don't know why <laughs> they're all like oh you're being so eco and like really praising you for like using them I don't know why but then she was like oh we're really trying to encourage like other mums in the area to to use them it's, it's all this eco eco stuff now isn't it nowadays but yeah I have run out I think of I mean I have so many things here I'm just literally swimming in these nappies right now so what I'll do is I'll just carry on putting all my liners into these little things here and do you use reusable nappies what do you like about them have you got any like like anything have you got any tips that you could give me <laughs> not that i need any i don't think but i'm currently downstairs in my little downstairs toilet it's a bit of a sort of like toilet slash tumble dryer that's all my washing stuff there and that oh my god i've got to sort out all that trash there because that is just horrendous is. <laughs> this is where i store my nappies and so that's how i have them so that when we need one we can just grab one that's all the night nappies that in there is all the wraps that go with the night nappies and those there are the ones that you can like you know like these are the ones where you can just like use these with i mean it does sound like it's a lot of work but it's not because once you get used to it it's so easy you get you get it it might seem like oh that's a lot of effort that's a lot of this but it's not because it just comes second nature to you so i just thought i'd quickly show you that that's where i store my nappies that's where they're kept and i forgot to mention quickly which i will mention now um let me get a nappy so these nappies are designed to fit your child basically until they're ready to come out of nappies um birth to potty these are called and basically what that means is that i need to take all this out now to show you you have three little like you have buttons there on the front and the front when you've got a newborn baby and usually you can recommendation is that you can start using these from six weeks um up depending how big your baby is i couldn't do it for winnie because she was way too small she was so dinky um so we've we had to wait a little bit longer to do it for her but if you want to use these on a newborn baby you basically get the top button and this one down here and you just do that pop it into place and then just tidy it up and then you can see that that has that is literally halved half the nappy so let's just do it up so we can see how big it is now in comparison to a normal size one let me get 
try and get one that's basically the same as that. Oh, where are my nappies gone? I know some of them in the washing machine, but surely, <laughs> surely there's not that many in there, is there? Maybe there is. Um, so I need to find one that has a full size. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just do it like this. So. That's a full size, that is a cane size nappy and that is a newborn size nappy. It is like pretty, it's not like different, different, but it is different. Once you put it on the baby you would notice the difference, trust me, you would. If you try putting that on a newborn baby then it's just not going to work because it's going to be way too big and all the all the poo and all the weed is going to come out of here because the leg is going to be too big so that's what you do that's what those little buttons are for and the nappy grows with the baby as well which is brilliant that's another reason why i love using reusables they're so like financially they're so much better you don't need a lot of nappies to start out with. Um, if you're going to go full time using them, then you probably need like, I don't know. Um, I don't know how many, maybe like 30 or 40 even, like full time. But if you're only going to be doing it like part time, then you only need probably like 20. So, yeah. If you're going to... So that is a full, that would be a newborn. And then once the baby gets a little bit bigger, which is the size Winnie is on now. So Winnie is on this size currently. And she is on the middle setting. And I find that they, it fits her quite well. And she is nine months old. So Winnie is on that size. So again, let's get one of these ones. Let's get a... That's a top spot, yeah. So that's a top spot one. So that's full size. And then you've got, well, it doesn't look much different, but like I said, it is different. Once you put it on the baby, you would notice the difference. That's a middle size setting. That's a full size setting. And then once you get to big baby stage, which I think Kane is actually, might be, he might be, like he is, he is quite a big child anyway. I do find with these nappies that they are quite, like he's getting to the point now where I think he might be ready to maybe start potty training him. Uh, that's a full size and why does that look slightly smaller? I don't know. So that's a full size, that's a different, that's a Milo or a Milo, whatever you want to call it, and that's a full size. These ones do come up slightly bigger though, I did notice that. And these ones are, you know, you have like a little thing here, you can just pull, pull it out. And then it comes out and then usually if you put that in the washing machine like in this will usually come out anyway and then when you want to put it back in after it's all washed and dried you just put your hand in this little pocket thing here and you just basically just pull it like that with this one anyway some of them are all different and then you just make it all nice and like that and then I put these these little liners on I put an extra liner on on top depending if I'm if I'm putting it on cane I'll put quite a few liners in there if I'm putting it on Winnie I won't so that's one's already done and then with the top spot one it's basically the same thing, only 
you don't get the little thing that hangs like the little pulley thing you just have to put it in like that and do it yourself really i think they're just really good yeah i recommend giving it a go anyway all right so a lot of people say oh, it's too much like faffing about or too much washing or with all the like i really don't notice a difference i i usually got my washing washing machine on most days anyway so to me this is just like not really that much of a difference to put an extra like wash in um and then you just put them once they're dirty and all that you just put them in a nappy bin close the lid there's not absolutely no smell in fact these reusable nappies are less smelly than the disposable ones and i thought the disposable ones were going to be better and they're not there's just no apart from them being disposable and you can throw them away there's for me there's just there's no comparison the reusables win all the time you don't get nappy rash they're better for the environment they're better on your on your pocket they're nice and pretty um you can wash them and use them again you can use them on like one child two child you can like they just go on they're just so like as long as you look after them then they will last literally forever that's how good they are so yeah i 100% recommend them and like i said with the uh wipes as well i like well i will 100% recommend these as well i think they're amazing brilliant with the other wipes the ones that you throw away they do they are quite oily and they do they just don't clean the baby as well as what these ones do like literally one wipe does it and and it's so and it's literally like i can change kane or winnie's nappy and clean their bums faster probably in the amount of time if somebody was using um disposable wipes that's how confident i am with those <laughs> and then like when you go out um it's just a matter of getting some wipes and usually I wet them before I go out and I'll wet them and it doesn't matter if you use cold or whatever and then I just pop the wipes in here and do it up and then I'll just shove a put a couple of nappies into my um, bag and then I have got another bag here this is called a wet a little wet bag and then once they've done a poo or a wee, I change them. I put the nappies in here, I zip it up, um, and then when I get home, I just uh, unzip it, and then I just shove it either straight into the washing machine or straight into the nappy bin, and that's it. It's just, it's, it's not really like any different to using a disposable. So, I hope you liked this video. I hope that it was very, like, information-wise helpful because I know when I first started out using reusables, gosh, I, I looked at every single video possible on the internet regarding the nappies to make sure that I knew um, as much about it as I possibly could so that I could, you know, educate myself, basically on how to use them you know if i know how to use them then i can then pass on my pass that information on to tony who you know he took to it like a duck to water and i was really surprised because you know not many men can actually like he he even says that he prefers to use the reusable nappies as well and even like last night he um when he went upstairs to bed and he's he came back downstairs and he said oh um oh i forgot to get a nappy for um winnie 
he was like, oh, I need to get a reusable nappy. So he's on there as well. So yeah, I've got some in the washing machine that I think may have just finished. That has just finished a rinse cycle and I've got some in the tumble dryer because at the moment it's raining here and and I'll just show you quickly the ones that I've done so I put them in here and then I'll just like organize all my that's all my wraps that I use for the thing these are the I don't really use these ones these are like um oh like there's certain types of pads that you're supposed to use that are better but I don't really tend to use those and you're not supposed to put those against the baby's bum anyway and these are just some spare ones and these are just all the ones that I don't really use because they're quite thin and that's all like obviously I've got more wipes than that but they're all in the washing machine and these are all the ones that you either clip in to the uh, into the nappy for the if you want more like protection for wheeze and that or the or these are the ones that you clip into the um, like say say like if you didn't want to say like if you just wanted to like you wash and dry these and you wanted something easy to dry you would just use these clip them in and then that way then um when you're done with it you can just take it out and then you can reuse this again as long as this is clean you can reuse this until like use it two or three times so that's another way you can do it or you can use the reu um or you can use the like all in ones all the ones that are just like that so yeah so as i said i hope you find this video interesting i hope um, it helps somebody out there who's thinking of doing it and if you have any questions then feel free to comment down below and and if you like this video as well and you want to see more videos like this um then leave a comment down below and i'll see you in the next video bye